Hi friends, it's me, Catherine. Welcome to another edition of Garden to Table TV. We are here at the home front. And on the back of the house, I've got this really pretty arbor that I'm growing a perlet grape on. So delicious, so sugary sweet. It's a tape grape. Um, anyway, they're just developing now. Um, they're not full size yet. Uh, they get very golden and, and oh, just incredible. But um, meanwhile, I wanna protect them from the birds and also from the fruit flies. Uh, I don't know if you have issues with fruit flies, but I do here. I do trap fruit flies with vinegar traps and yeast traps, but um, still I'm always looking for ways to keep the fruit flies from getting into the bunches. So uh, the awesome thing about using these little eight by 10 craft bags is that they are a very fine mesh. So. In addition to keeping the birds away, they're also keeping the fruit flies out of my bunches. And um, the best thing too about these is that when these grapes are ripe, I'm gonna be able to snip them right there with my pruning shears and then uh, just present, um, present the whole bunch in this beautiful gift bag. Um, when I give them away or you know if you have a farmer's market booth it's also a gorgeous way to present them on the table in a bag um, ready to go and uh, in, in this case I got these bags on um, their craft bags I got the 8x10 size I got them on I think on Amazon over the holidays I use them for holiday bags um, I think they were I don't know $16 something like that uh, for a hundred so I had all these leftovers and them to good use. Um, last year I did use lunch size paper bags and those worked awesome too but uh, the thing with paper is you don't see inside it of course so it was hard to figure out when the grapes are ripening. I was having to take them on and off and you know different bunches ripen at different times so this way I can really see what's going on in there and hopefully within a month or so maybe a little less these will be ready to pick and uh, gorgeous uh, wrapping all ready to present to friends. Uh, so that's my tip for the day. Would love to hear what you've got going on. And if you've got any tips to share with us, please do. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, I'll be back when I got something else that might be interesting um, for you to learn. All right, that's it for today. See you soon.